Name song. Hello. Hi. Do you like Nintendo? I sure do. Cause I've got a Switch game. You still have And your they've Switch. brought out Switch. Fuck all of it. <laughs> Sweet fuck all. Yeah, so. I sold my I sold mine for five hundred dollars, which is pretty good. Holy shit, this really? Is, yeah, well, it was a game with it as well. It was like Still? Mario Kart Eight. Yeah, no, I was happy with that. Like I um, because I, I, I keep your shit in good condition. Keep the box. Keep mm. the little plastic slips. You don't need to throw any of this out. So yeah, I got I'm got fed up with waiting for Nintendo to bring out virtual console games or, game. or yeah. anything in general. <laughs> so I decided I'm gonna homebrew the fuck out of this thing. Um, for those who don't know about me, I have been modding consoles back since oh, the Game Boy Advance and the GameCube. Um, so I've been hacking what consoles a long time. What mod did you have for um, Cube? Uh, I made my own cheats for it. Oh. Yeah, because uh, a magazine brought out a disc that had preloaded cheats on it. And I found a way to buffer overflow it to put my own in. Oh, cool. Yeah, so n nothing meaty. Yeah. Hardware mm -hmm. mods you know started on hacksaw. DS. Um, well, yeah. But so no, the is... stuff's also harder. You need like a soldering iron. Oh yeah, I did a few sold sold jobs. Um, Don't look at me like that, cat. You look so like we're you gonna, think you're an asshole. We're gonna mod this baby, and to do that, we need to overload this sucker, um, basically force it into recovery mode. In order to do that, you've got to short out. There's little pins in the bottom here. Um, you probably can you probably see them very yeah, well. So in the groove, there's like little teeth. That's what you. It's where your Joy-Con snaps yeah, your Joy -Con. onto. There's a, there's teeth yeah. on the bottom of that. And it snaps in, that's what connects it. So you short out the it's pins. It's the thing that receives the joy. Ooh. Oh, fucking. And oh, now that we're hacking this, we can get that touching game. Oh, the fucking witch molesting one? Yeah. To be fair, one time I had a dream I was getting attacked by a lady vampire and I stopped her by fingering her, which I do think would work. Like, it's not sexual assault, I was being attacked. Yeah, fair enough. Okay. So, yeah, the next step is. Short it out with a paper clip bent in a certain way, which is like a, you make it into a little jig that pushes on these pins. Now, if you're upset by Aaron's piracy, you're going to be really upset where he got that paper clip. So, I thieved this paper clip. Because um, I, went, I went into a shop. I'm not naming any names. Just for I'm an actual poor person and I've never stolen a paper clip. Look, I'm pretty, I know. I'm pretty poor right now. I anyway, I need one paper clip. I go in, it's a hundred paper clips, and I'm like, that's too many paper clips. Think of what you could do with 99 paper clips. Uh, that's a lot though. of fucking paper clips. You could clips. throw 80 of them at the so, car. And I looked at it, and there was definitely not a hundred in there. So people have been skimming paper clips. I've figured it out. That's where the embezzling's going in this store. <laughs> They've embezzled the clips. I bought a lot of other things from the store. It's fine. Yeah, I suppose it's, clip. it's like eating a grape at the supermarket. You you, you yeah. borrowed a paperclip to see how it would work. I'll go return it after Should I've, you... I've modded the switch. <laughs> Should you want to... So what do you have to do with the paperclip? So, so we have to bend it. We have to bend it. Uh, we use a paperclip because it's just really easy to bend. All right. It's, it's and, and so the idea is you just need something to stick down there to trigger the little doodads. Yeah, metal to short it out. All right. So you need, between it needs to be a metal touchy. Yeah, but the, the, the point is, we get home and it's like, I need specific measurements so I can bend it into certain patterns. Yeah, because it needs, it's you don't not need just... It, but it's just easier. Yeah, most well, I mean, if you're following a tutorial, Most people tutorial. just go, here's the picture, bend it like this. And yeah. it, but this guy's got a ruler and he's got measurements, so I'm like... I, I honestly, a, that would be the one I'd like. Yeah. I'd like, because, you know, it's... it's like I don't want yeah. up. You don't want, like, a big fucking gap between the instruction and the result. Yeah. You know? Like, oh yeah, here's a bunch of shit, oh, and look, here's a house. You know, there's enough of that already, you want you want instructions, and so Aaron doesn't have anything to measure anything with. No, I looked for the, the ruler that I knew I had, and I, I remember where I put it, and I went to look there, and it was gone, because I cleaned the garage where I left it, and <laughs> now, gnomes. now, who knows where it is? Because where do you keep a ruler? Where is the correct place for ruler? A stationary drawer? Probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't like, have well, a stationary my, my drawer. My desk has like I don't a really have stationary. What do you have? I have a computer. I suppose. Uh, I mean, well, now who's laughing, huh? It's, it's oh, me! Yeah, it's the time for the doomsday preppers who kept all their fucking rulers to chuckle at Mr. Technology. And so, I know I have a measuring tape somewhere. Fuck knows where that, is, where that is, So now Aaron's downloading some kind of app for his fucking iPhone, but that requires a fucking update. Because so Aaron has to update to get measurements. Because, uh, like most human beings, I'm a lazy piece of shit. <laughs> And I, I see an update pop up, up and I just go yeah. dismiss later. And then it goes, hey man, it's time for that update. Do you want to do you want to schedule it now? No, remind me later. So that's weird because I, I, I'm always like, ooh, update. Because that might mean something good. See, I'm a hacker. So I usually keep low firmware because if an exploit comes out and my firmware's too high, I can't do shit. Alright, fair enough. Because I hack a lot of mobile games. <laughs> 
That's like cheating at a free fucking, yeah, know. you know, poker machine. But it's... That's just... I don't I know. know. That's it weird just, to me. It, I sort of want something to do on the toilet, and when I've run out of reading, I just boot up a mobile game that I've hacked. And it's just free just jumping... It's fun jumping in and, I guess, pop stomping, because I have everything. Like, I have max shit, and you can buy packets of stuff. And... Well, I mean, the, the, it makes them almost actual playable games. Yeah, exactly. So, I'm just... Oh, I'm not opposed to hacking mobile games. No, I'm just saying games. that the reason I play them... Fuck mobile developers. It's just, I also think that if you've got, like, a phone, you can usually, like... You know, like, I have actual games on there and stuff. Oh, no, I, have a, I do have actual games I tweet my stuff. thoughts. I do do that occasionally, but it's just... It's mainly... <laughs> It's mainly just, you know, I've got a Switch, I've got handhelds, I've got, I could, I could play things. It's just, I suppose. you know, I'm just shitting, I just want to tune out for a second. My phone, on, it's already there. Fair enough, fair enough. Speaking of shitting, holy poop. Seven yesterday, I think that's a record. I think, like, did you have diarrhea? How does every one no, of these No, they were solid. I hadn't pooped for a few days beforehand. Though. You know, I'm going to get so used to this, it'll be odd to have a podcast where we don't talk about you shitting. Because last time it was you finding a sticker in there. Then it was discovering that you got gloves on and sifted through it. <laughs> I still imagine that you have your own kind of, like... I have a lab for poo. Yeah, or no, like a, a pan, you know, like a fucking gold... Oh, yeah, like gold, gold, gold yeah. miner, yeah. A gold miner. Hey, uh, let's poop in them hills! Uh, got a fucking... Oh, some corn! Corn! Corn in that thar poop! Which is, the, like, the first thing we see you sifting through. I was just like, oh, yeah, like a guy who looks for gold in a river. It's just like, except with shit and probably in a bathroom sink. No, so, I've been having stomach issues. Um, I know, no, I know, you, you, like, again, I, it's, it's odd, but you do have mm, legitimate... Have legit reasons. Reasons so to I do shit. this, it's just weird. Before, you know? before I saw my doctor, I was just like, just, like, shitting liquid a lot of the times, like, it just... And it wasn't a lot. Yeah. It was a lot of times a day, and it would literally be less than, yeah, like... Yeah, see, no, I was like, like when I was still drinking, yeah. like, it was just, you know, you don't eat properly, yeah. your digestive fluids So he fuck. gave me these tablets, Matilium, which basically force everything out of you, cleans you out proper. Um, and it stopped me pooping. And he was, I told him that, and he's like, excuse me? <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, I, I didn't poop for like three days. It's like your asshole has ADHD. But today, today it was just like, well, yesterday, it was a flow. Like I had, I literally did seven shits and they were all full size meaty shits. And I'm, I lost three kilos I of feel just like, shit I yesterday. I feel like some of that's got to be like meals you ate years ago. I think like, so. I feel dude. like your gut's got like some weird pocket where civilizations. I think Shuma Garoff's in there. I think so too. I think that's we've just leaked the plot of like the second. Oh, fucking... Shit! Now Marvel's gonna come for us. Yeah. Oh, well, they're busy today. So yeah, I shit like solidly for seven poops, and I've I've never felt better. I'm just like. Holy balls! And he's like, yeah, I want you to... Because I took the tablets three times a day. Okay. He's like, now I want you to take one a day. And I'm like, okay, this makes sense. <laughs> yeah. Let's not shit out my intestines next. Well, no, you probably need to keep some of what's in there. Yeah. Or they'll have to give you, like, a poop bar. Because three kilos. Because I weighed myself in the morning. And I weighed myself after the seventh. I do feel like, yeah, I off. do feel like stuff was just not coming out. I think that... He said that the... you don't even eat that much. Like, no, if I, I took know. a three kilogram shit in one go, that it kind of makes sense. Because I still eat gargantuan quantities of food mm. in one sitting because I'm an idiot. Ooh, have we got the measure? Um, you know, but like, I... You you, you eat like fucking... I eat nothing. Yeah, you eat like, oh, today I, I, spo I spoiled myself and had a mandarin. It's like you and Eastern European models have the same fucking diet. Yeah, pretty it's, much. It's just I'm actually Kate Moss. Um, I don't know, have you ever seen us together? So fuck, oh, fuck it, I can't disprove that. Yeah. So, yeah, we... So Aaron's downloaded a fucking... Aaron's updated his iPhone so we can get an app to measure. Which, I'm not... I don't I mean, know I'm how this the, works. Well, I'm guessing the app must know what phone you have and must be able to display measurements relative to the size of your... physical size of your phone. Because it's not like you can just get a fucking picture... Oh, you mean it's one of the ones that scans something. Oh, okay, yeah, that'll work. I mean, I'm not sure if it'll work exactly for you what we need here, but... You know, you need to like... scan my stick. Yeah, because we were, we were going to use a measuring stick, because I thought he just had to take relative measurements, but he doesn't. He needs to, like, make actual measurement measurements, you know. So you, you need something that that physically has a millimeter written on it, otherwise... You know, we're just back to fucking king's noses and hog's testicles and all that other weird shit, you know. Apparently, like, the fucking measurement lunatics in France... And I call them lunatics, but I do think that what they do is important. I like fucking nutting out exactly what, like some of this shit is. Because they're all based on objective things. Like, you know, you can't just have something imaginary like some kind of emperor's foot. So they've done it on, like... 
Oh, okay. Was, I see. I, I, I don't know how this works. Basically... I mean, I'm assuming the fucking camera is able to see shit. Yeah, least. so the this has two cameras in it. Right. So that's the way it can differentiate depth and stuff. Oh, so, okay. So All you right. just, you add a point. Okay. And then you add another And then, point. yeah, you can add another point. Mm. Or you can, you can just move it from the point and then just sort of out. And it will... Madness. It is pretty cool. I still, I still just don't trust that. I need to see someone who knows what they're doing working with it in order for me to go, oh, okay. That's oh, yeah, I'm a bumblefuck. Yeah. Oh, I mean, I, you know, I wouldn't want to use it either, because I'm just, you know... How do I remove the I points? Mean, how many dicks has this been pointed at, for starters? Like, well, for fucking mine later tonight, definitely. Yeah, you've got to. Like, for science. Again, though, like, because you could just get it closer to your dick, or further away, even, you know? Can I stop measuring now, please? No, you're just, you're just you're oh, trapped. Okay. You're doomed. You're doomed to Apparently. measure forever. Clear. I... Ah! Cool. <laughs> It's this is an experience, I tell you. It's 57 centimeters from the couch to here. I mean, I'm not. Okay, if we so say we know how long the skewer is in total. Yeah. What does that do? Because I feel like we're doing work that's not going to pay off. Because all you're doing is telling the iPhone how long the skewer is. The skewer is 62 centimeters, Gabriel. Well, all right, but how do we divvy that up? Because <coughs> we, we need markings on the skewer. Obviously. I feel like this is that bit in fucking Cannibal the Musical where he chucks the rock into the river. And it's just, what was this supposed to accomplish? Like, you know what? Like we're just Right gonna, now we're throwing a rock into a river. We are just gonna eye measure it. Fuck it. <laughs> That's what it's devolved. We updated the technology. We downloaded an app that can see the world around us. Fuck it. We go eyeball it. Just gonna fucking sight fucking do this. This was entirely unnecessary. Right. This is bad even by podcast standards and... Well, this is, this should is, be a podcast. It's not a podcast. Home. It's a modcast. <laughs> I'm getting good. I'm good with these names. All right, so Aaron's going to attempt to bend this fucking thing. He's waiting for pictures on how to do the bendiness to load. What website are you on? Let's tell the people. GBA about. temp. GBA temp. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, yeah, that's a good website. They're a very good website. I'm pro doing this always because you, as consumers, you need a way to genuinely hurt companies because it's the only thing they'll listen to is pain. Um. And the only other thing they listen to is fear of pain. So once you teach them that you can hurt them, you teach them fear that you can leverage into more positive consumer practices. And it is the only thing that these deranged s*** will listen to. So you have, you know, just not buying just doesn't really seem to work these days. Okay, so those are the pictures of what it needs to look like. Oh man, those are some fucking, those are some steps. All right, step one. Bend the fucking thing. <laughs> so you gotta kinda put a little, you know, lip on it. So there's a bit, there's a bit. You need like an L-shaped Tetris block that you're gonna like, ka-chunk, Tetris your way into the, uh, you know, side butthole, side gash. Side gash. Of the, the controller gash of the uh, Nint Nintendo Switch. I can already tell this is going terribly. It looks a bit fat. Like that. I'm worried this this paperclip's too big. You've got a chubby paperclip. It was the you only have... paperclips they had. Because, so. yeah, there are different kinds of paperclips. You know how there's like the little ones, you go, oh, that'd hold two pieces of paper together. That'll do nicely for my assignment. And people always put it on like 10. And yeah, like, what are you and doing? then there's ones that are like, oh, yeah, you could fucking, you know, wedge a bit of fucking brick together with this shit. This looks like a brick. It's a big one. It's like the size of my thumb, which I feel like is a tad large for what we'd otherwise refer to as rather fine. <sighs> what is a fucking work. inch? It's it's made up and it's dumb and every second America uses it, that country gets stupider and stupider. Like I don't even know what that is. I don't know, fucking I don't like, know. Like because it's one inch something. <laughs> yeah, what's a portion of an inch? Yeah, it's just a half or a whatever, a fifth of an inch. Because I mean, look at that. Because I've heard that used on the TV, inches. Yeah, that's. And it's like there's the one, there's two, there's it's... not an equal number in between. Yeah, that really isn't helpful. Show the fucking picture because it's like. It's just sort of there, like it's it, it's not How measured. Do you inch. It's not measured so much as it's measurement adjacent. Because like there's, I guess that's one and a half inch, one and one inch, one and two. Like I don't know. It, one... it's, it's a portion of a inch. I think the fact that there's one or two there is irrelevant to the fact that it's 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 if you, if you take the initial point as a zero, mm. then you've got like maybe two. Uh, I don't know. What's the fucking portion of an inch? An in. A ch. Yeah, a ch. I've got the chair. Yeah, you've got two chairs to fucking put through. Um, 
Yeah, I still don't understand how a ruler and a relative screen space is supposed to I work. have no clue. I mean, I assume, I'm going to assume because the iOS store, it just is, you know, it goes, you have an iPhone, this, this, this is, is your this screen length, size, this is your screen yeah. size, here is an objective measurement of what that fucking space is. Alright, this one's got four and a half stars. Oh boy. Ruler! Let's have a look at the reviews. I just feel like so many of these are going to be just kind of imbecile jokes. Doesn't automatically measure. It's a fucking ruler! <laughs> Doesn't automatically measure. What?! This has been a fun day. I like learning about what the future is going to behold, but you know, just hold. Because we're just sitting around trying to work out like any other period in history, we'd have left the house and gone and bought a ruler. Like as it is right now, I, f I just wish that's what we'd done. Oh, I think this is. It's got the funny inches. Oh, it's got the funny inches. We're in business. All yeah, right. I'm gonna, so I I'm think Aaron has. You, I'm going to send you the website so you can open up on your phone. Why am I opening it? Because I'm going to need the ruler up. I can't Why have can't it. You have it on your phone. I have to have the ruler app open, so I can't have the website open at the same time. Oh, you, okay, I thought you meant... When you said website, my brain was still... I'm still thinking about the ruler, I'm not thinking <laughs> about GBA Town. No, no. Alright, so we gotta go to GBA Town. I'll just send you the link to the post. Alright, fantastic. Fantastic eponymous. GBA Tempest is like fairly retro in its construction. Like, it's, it's so old. How it's long been has it like, been around? It's been like that since... I've, I've been going there since, again, Game Boy Advance. So... Long fucking time. Joy-Con rail, paperclip, contact points. You can do it. I believe. I mean, it's not going to fry your fucking thing, no. is it? Oh, well, there you go. See, risk-free. Right. You know, it's just a party. Okay, so lengthwise, that is one and... How many of those lines? I one, hope nobody two, sends me three, four. While Aaron's looking at my phone. <laughs> well, that has really happened that. before, actually. That's happened once, and then I had to have the conversation, like, I know you mean well, but don't just randomly send me news, because I'm frequently showing my friends my phone. Same. Just like, uh, as a naked lady's torso. <laughs> gonna hide that. What do you mean he saw it? What do you- fuck it, I- <laughs> You know, you don't just fucking get the girls out, randomly, because some fucking cunt might see, you know. I don't send people pictures of my genitals, even when they ask. Yeah, can't say I've ever. Some rando sent me a dick pic one time. <sighs> and I then got I, a lot of dick pics. That's funny. And then I, uh, th then I wound up helping him with his English assignment. Excuse me? <laughs> I'm just that good an educator, Aaron. Apparently. It's instinctive. I mean, for starters, you can't let yourself get phased by the kids and their fucking dicks. You know? If, if the children learn that all they have to do to bring a class or a lesson to a halt is to get their dick out, you're gonna see a lot of fucking dicks. Oh, fuck like, yeah, I'd, I'd, be, just, I'd be whipped out so quick. Central, yeah. So you have, to, you have to thwart that. See, the problem is with education is, education is constant. The children are always learning something, and you gotta learn that there are lessons within lessons, you know. It's meta lessons. Oh, fuck yeah, like if I shit in the lunchbox, and then put the lunchbox in a freezer, but I've already glad wrapped the, the shit inside it. Oh no, no so, that'll keep for a week. No, you joke, but like in my primary school, like there was a turd one time just in the stairwell, Fantastic. and it was a human poo. Was it uh, just like? Was it perfect too? Like, yeah, yeah. Log? It was just it was just it was this a delightful <laughs> fibrous log. You know. See, that's like, funny. If it was like smeared in a pie, it wouldn't be no, funny. No, but it just was, the perfect yeah, log was, sitting there. It was. It was a poo. Yeah. Just perfectly a poo in the stairwell, and so we didn't go to class for like an hour. Because there was a fucking hullabaloo, and then we were going to work out maybe going to the library, and we didn't. So it got us out of an hour of fucking school. Oh, that's pretty that decent. Around. Yeah. And the problem is then, now, shit cunts know that, you know, poo being places equals less school. So they're just like... <laughs> yeah, I mean, we had the same thing with bomb threats. Like, we had bomb threats called into goodness so regularly. Like, it just, you know, and what do we do now? Uh, there was like this one period, I think I was in year five or year six... It was like, we'd go out and just like, what do we got to do? Just sit on the oval in the fucking sun while they deal with this bullshit. <laughs> and it's like, oh, you know, just sitting out there with the fucking green ants getting bit. All right, the main, I think the main bomb. thing is getting the the width is most important. Girth. Girth. Gets the job one done. Line, two lines. Although two there the was, lines. like, someone did burn one of the school buildings down after I left. It was like... Oh, really? Yeah. A school my cousin went to... One of the kids, like when he was in year seven, one of the year six kids and his dad showed up 
on the last day of school and they just ran into a room and stole as many computers as they could carry. That's hilarious. Oh, fucking Townsville, man. Like, you know, like, Brisbane ferals are a beautiful, unique creature. But, like, because they're near the city and they're near humans with, like, you know, things to lose and stuff they care about. And that kind of hems them in. You know, mm. you, you can get some fucking weird clusters, but, you know, otherwise, you know, they're, they're civilized. They're civilized. They're a civilized kind of feral. You fucking get out there into the rural areas, into the sticks, and mother of fucking God, the feral quality just... Okay, so apparently this... Yes. Is... Three-eighths of an inch. Yep. Right. So three chas. Yeah. Point or three eight inches or three-eighth of an inch or 0.97 centimeters. Right, so in, almost... In, in, you know, yeah. sensible land. Almost a centimeter. So three millimeters off of a centimeter. Alright, so we're almost... We're almost... This is... I don't think... Because, like, you know, this isn't a tutorial video exactly. It's just us, it's just us modding shit. Thing. Yeah, so. don't learn from us, you fucking idiots. Like no gods. This the God well. Way. I mean, the site's here, so you can follow the tutorial. I mean, no. you can find it easily if you want to do it. I recommend doing it just out of spite. Apparently, though, like you, you won't be able to play games online if you go if you connect the console online in any slight way. Your console will be banned. There is currently no way around it. It's there's this... way to be protective of it, but still, people have done these steps a hundred percent and still. Being banned. Can you use like a different user account? Or? User account doesn't matter. Oh, okay. So what? It, what it's the so hardware it's footprint. The hardware. Yeah. Right. So once they ban your console, you can't go online anymore to play games. You can still download updates. You can still update the firmware. It's still usable. Hundred percent. So I'm using. I'm gonna have two switches. One for the ones I want to homebrew and just mod the games and shit. And one for the one that you know I take online with Pokemon and Smash Brothers and so on. With the uh, three or four games, we the three or four online. Yeah. yeah. But you can use your amazing Nintendo phone app with. Mm. <laughs> yeah, see, I don't regret selling mine. Like, because I was thinking about this when I was mulling over, like, you know, what I was going to do with... Because the mobile gaming thing was, like, a problem I really wanted solved over the past year. You know, and I tried the Android one, and... You know, I think, yeah, I think you might want to... I think you might want to explain what the mobile gaming problem is in your... The, what, oh, you, what you needed and wanted from Yeah, it. well, I mean, like, ever since I got my Galaxy S3, the first time I fucking, like, I got rid of my 3S in, like, 2010 or some shit, and got a Galaxy S3, and I was just on the App Store, and it just said that there was, you know, I just brushed into something that said MAME, and I was like, what the fuck? And I just found that there was MAME for fucking Android, and I was like, holy shit, so I download this, I get some ROMs, I put them on, and I can play fucking Third Strike on my goddamn S3. And that was fucking amazing, and I got a really early game clip um, that you could use by mounting your PlayStation 3 controller with a little, like, proprietary cable thing. Mm. Oh, yeah, back, yeah, yeah. Back then it was, like, it was hot. Now, you oh, know, obviously, so yeah, you can go onto AliExpress, get an iPega. I've, I've got, like, three of the iPegas. They're quite a good control pad. Uh, the 1923, I think. There's a big one that I used when I was using my um, tablet for games. Um, other little smaller, you know, designs. But one thing I always wanted was like something clamshell, just because that way I can clip it closed and not have to fucking worry, you know, if it's in my bag with one other thing, if it might, you know, dink it or hit it or something like that, which is always a bit of a concern. But like, Android emulation particularly kind of tops out at uh, GameCube. I mean, there's Daemon PS2, but that's just effectively a Chinese con. And just for a lot of reasons, it's going to be a little while if, you know, if, if, if at all, if there's going to be, you know, decent... GameCube or anything north of that emulation. And that's even using, you know, one of the really top of the line modern phones with the Snapdragon and stuff like that. Um, so I tried everything and then I wound up breaking down and getting myself a GPD Win 2. The Win 1 was a lot of promise that it just really couldn't back up, but the Win 2 is a fucking excellent device. Like that thing runs up to uh, PS3, um, PSN titles. So I've got the uh, HD JoJo. Um, the Marvel vs. Capcom 2 HD, and uh, the Scott Pilgrim HD, which is really good and really useful because some of those games are now deleted from the PSN store, so you just you just can never get them again. And they all work on my little uh, GPD Win 2. It is pricey, but if you you know if you're mulling over, it's like okay, what do I want to get? You know, do I want to maybe get a new you know fucking thousand dollar phone? Like, I've got my old S7 just on a, you know, $35 a month contract now, so I save a shitload of money that way. And, you know, granted, the fucking 
you know, including shipping and the tax, the GPD Win 2 was about 1,000 local, but holy fuck, it's been worth it. Like, mobile GameCube. I can play Xenoblade fucking on the train. I have been. I played through fucking um, Shenmue 2. Uh, no, Shenmue. On it. Um, it does a lot of uh, PC titles. I mean, you, you know, you're going to have to mod. Like, it says it can do AAA, which is a bit of a stretch of the truth. You, you know, you need to mod stuff fairly heavily. There are a lot of, um, uh, you know, sort of different low graphics mods that people use for, like, real low-end PC gaming. You know, if you want to get Witcher 3 running at any reasonable frame rate, you're going to be modding the thing down to the point where it looks kind of like a PS2 game. Personally, I wouldn't bother. Uh, but it is an absolute fucking powerhouse joy to use for emulation, because you're not stuck with the weird Android versions of emulators. A lot of the time they're actually, they are actually better, but in so many instances they're just frustratingly worse. And it, it has the fucking power and the cooling options to... Yeah, again, like, PS2 games. You can play PS2 games at full speed, you can play GameCube games at full speed. I uh, can't do Wii U games, but I feel like that's more to do with Simu still being fairly not fully a full release emulator yet. I can get it working on my PC at home, but that thing's a bit more of a beast. Um, but you know, it's a really good way to have all these games mobile. You know? Sit and play. I play Here Comes the Pain. Here Comes the Pain on the fucking train! <laughs> Oh, Aaron's got the nipple clamps out. That looks... Oh, okay, so you're getting that to bend. Uh, you, uh, uh, what, are you screwing it? Yeah, touch it, Aaron. What the fuck? Like, honestly, that is nipples. Yeah, this looks like I'm gonna torture some fuck. Don't touch my nipples. Like, that is perfect nipple clamp. Like, look at that. I don't, yeah. I can't, I don't even... That's perfect yeah, for my wrist. Yeah, it's, it, support. It, it keeps the forearm in line with the nipple, which is... And this one's perfect just to reach down the dong. Yeah, like, it, it, it's such a hassle when attempting to get the nipple with regular pliers. Because <laughs> you end up with, you get like an RSI injury there after a while. It's very uncomfortable oh, yeah. on the tendons. And I find that frustrating because I'm, I'm, I'm constantly posting in forums and stuff, look, are there, you know, we, if we can get like, you know, left-handed nipple clamps, and can we not get something that maybe is a little bit more ergonomically designed? That's, that's yeah. what we're asking. Because like, I, it's not like I do this for fun. No, you know, I've got it's... A, I've got gnomes in my mind that need to be told secrets. They need to be sated. Speaking of which, like that dude, like Australia has the funny, retarded, you know, sad versions of things. And that is up to and including our terrorists. Because like one of them was like just this fucking bogan Greek dude <laughs> who like drove his car into a bunch of people. I think he was screaming about like Islamic State or something while he was doing it. But again, he wasn't- Is this the old dude who threw the shopping trolley in? No, 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 that was, that's the most recent one, which again is just like a fucking, it's just some loser with a goddamn, like his whole plan was a truck full of fucking gas bottles he lit on fire, which didn't really do much, and then he managed to stab an old man. And the dude was like this real old Greek dude, so like, Jesus. yeah, I mean like, you know, you could have, again, that's, you know, you, you're working hard to make a really old Greek dude not die. Yeah. Like, if, if, for, for terrorism, that's fairly low rent. Like, and it's just, but yeah, the guy got, like, convicted today, which was not surprising considering he did admit that he did everything, but he still said he wasn't guilty. And he was saying he was going to explain, and I'm kind of, I've been looking for this I'm online, but I can't find it. Yeah. Because I'm really, I'm desperately curious to see what this dipshit Greek bogan. It's going to be an gonna, insanity plea or something like that. Well, no, that's, it wasn't, no, that's, it, it, he didn't plead insanity. So, so he, he just pleaded, I did it, but I'm not guilty. Yeah, no, he agreed to the material facts as stated, but said he wasn't guilty. Yeah, and that is... That's interesting. That's, uh, that is Christmas for people who want to hear insane shit said. Oh, yeah. In open court. Like, you gotta look some of this up online, because, like, America's real good for it, like, unsurprisingly. Because they do, like, those town hall meetings where mm. they just let anybody up to fucking speak. And there's one, it's like this fucking ordinance from Kentucky allowing, like, fucking gay teachers or some shit. And this woman gets up to speak, and... We'll probably f I'll find it later and I'll put a link in, because you, you need to see this. And it's because I'm a fucking connoisseur of these batshit lunatics. Um, gets up to speak, and she's just... Like, you know, 
Because in Australia, fucking most of the maniacs you see look like maniacs. Yeah. You know, they're not wearing their clothes yeah, right. They're they smell. Yeah. There's there's all these visual things that line up. Like, this woman is like seeing a lion walk up to you and then having it go bar. You know, she's wearing a hat. She's got. Her, she's put together. She's speaking the words in sentences that sort of make sense. But the opening thing for her five minute speech about something to do with gay teachers is about the TV show Wipeout and how it's a conspiracy by gays, bi's and orgies who want to watch straight people perish. And she uses the word perish as opposed to die. It's really, it's, it's, it is like, I am a fucker. I love these nuts. There's another one. Uh, I, I used to post like just little snippets of these lunatics on Twitter every now and again, just with no context. There's one where there's this fucking la lady that looks a bit like Roseanne, just this disheveled fat trailer lady, just angry and she's furious and she's like specifically furious about something. <laughs> and but she's just saying deranged shit. Like remember, I've got four butts, not four boobs. Yeah, no, like you think I I'm. Prove that! Yeah, prove you th that, lady! Think Fucking, you can't make a statement like that and give me nothing. Yeah, you think I'm making this shit up, and I am uh, not. Yeah, yeah. It just gets worse and worse and worse. Or better, really, from my perspective. Um. But yeah, like that's kind of like Australia's terrorism is just like these level of people. <laughs> it's like, you know. There's only so much you can do about the absolutely retarded. Yeah. Sadly. They're a threat to themselves and everyone around them, but... There is- the problem is there is no perfect system. Like, the one as it's functioning can be better. Cause I mean, like, you know, the first thing that Scott Morris said was whine about, like, why aren't Muslims doing something about this, but like... You know... They really do. Like, the dude that tried to take over that coffee shop... Mm. He'd been, like, his own mosque had reported him several times. And like, <sighs> when he died... Literally, the dude, like, one of the fucking main imams of Australia was like, chuck him in the ocean. Like, <laughs> yeah, no, they wouldn't, no, like, not giving him a Muslim burial is, like, a really big deal. Like, you know, in the fucking Abrahamics, your body is nothing until you die. I think the body's the most important fucking thing in the world. Uh, you know, like, the really Jewy Jews won't let you, um, put a... All be, right. be buried in their thing if they fucking, if you have tattoos and shit. Next like a, step. So, we're going to put it, slide it down the, the rail, touch the first and the last pins, and then we're going to press the volume up and power button simultaneously. Uh, after turning the console completely off, that is. It was already completely off. When your console is turned on, you will brick it. Uh, this when is, your this paper is clips too long, you, you will brick, brick it. Brick now brick it. No more games. <laughs> now, it's pretty safe. There's not really much harm you can do. If it's a you, hardware fault, isn't it? And they can't patch yeah, it out. Pretty much. If for <laughs> old, 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 old revisions, if your if your console is produced before June 2018, you're good. Ah, oh, okay. So they actually did a hardware change. There is, yeah. They can still get working, but it's harder. Right. It's harder. What's the principle that this one operates on? Because that's always a bit the fr that like fascinates me. Uh, what the loophole? Yeah, like how does what does this do? Uh, like I understand we're jamming paper clips into a thing. I don't actually what know that? what this does. Oh, well, fuck. So this the paper clips cause it to go into RCM mode, which is like a recovery. All right, like thing. a factory setting. Basically, aren't you supposed to stick it down fatty end first? Well, you can't. Kinda. Uh, okay. No, 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 this end because they these are the two pins that touch the. Oh right, okay. Do it from there. Do the whole way. No, we go the whole way. Imagine what he's like fucking. Uh, this is this is it, why yeah, you can yeah, if you've got a 3D printer mm. you can 3D print a little jig that's perfect size. I, oh you no, I've seen, I've seen you can just buy. Well, them. you can buy them on eBay. Yeah, yeah. like yeah, um, so which is if, if you don't want to do Aaron's fucking home improvement style, which uh, I recommend getting the fucking jig. Like for real, real. it's designed it's, to fit in. Just yeah. blip. <laughs> Aaron's got to do it. Aaron's. I don't know. Way. Have a 3D printer. Give me a probably, but I don't want to wait until something's 3D printed. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm just, I'm just asking. Like, I feel like that could take a lot of time. I'm just asking you know, my girlfriend. Like, to my knowledge, 3D printing still isn't replicators, and until it's that, I don't care. <laughs> until maybe I can get someone to like. Uh, until maybe people are 3D printing their own excellent bootleg transformers, I don't care. That's about the only serious thing I give a shit about. Like, I'd pay for that. A proper, like, properly scaled, well-designed Gen 1 run would. Alright, so the, the reason that they bend the paperclip outwards from here mm -hmm. is so you can slide it down the rail easily. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, 
Which way am I sliding? This is that way. Which way? <laughs> oh, the bitey clips. All right, so Aaron's tweaking it down. All right. Oh, look at that. Ah, oh, sharp. Mm -hmm. Sharp is not ninety degrees, but it's 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 pretty good. It's like eighty-seven. Hmm. You know what? That's a pass, ladies and gentlemen. That's you know you've you've. You're on your way with an 87. You're on your way to misery and happiness to die. Oh, holy shit, you remember the other Proclaimers song? Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Yeah, because it was on Shrek. Huh. I think. Alright, there we go. Sure. I've never sat through a whole Shrek film, so this this coming Saturday when we record, Aaron beat sabering all of Shrek in VR. I'm glad that you're experiencing Shrek I'm, for the first time while I'm Beat Saber. Yeah, I'm kind of, the more I think about that, the happier I am. It's like, have you ever seen Shrek? No, but I watched an adult human being Beat Saber the whole thing. <laughs> so I, I got the gist of it. Like, that's enough. Like, I don't need any more than that, really. I mean, I don't understand what, what Lord Farquaad is, aside from just a series of shapes that you have to hit in certain ways. But I actually, you know, I believe that enhanced the character. You know, I don't need to picture a weird John Lithgow midget. That, that is creepy. I wish they just used John Lithgow. Don't they just like rip on him constantly about what he looks like, even though that's not the message of the movie? Pretty much. The point is, it's okay to rip on what somebody looks like if they're a bad person. Pretty much. You know, you're just, you know, if someone's, just because someone's in a wheelchair and a giant cunt, like, you know, like if you see someone in a wheelchair giving a Nazi salute, you're like, you know, Hitler would have killed you, you boob. Yeah. You he doesn't want you, you're defective. Yeah. You know. You're not, you don't. A Hitler, not Crippler. Crippler sounds like. A Pokemon. Go, Crippler! Dun, yeah. dun, dun, dun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and the fucking... We'll have to... No, because we'll have to... After we finish fucking around with this, we'll we'll, we'll do another little addendum to the, the thing. Um, inside, where we... We'll show you the, also the, the Pokemon trailer, which you've probably seen. But, I, and I say this as someone who does not give a shit about Pokemon. I want to see that movie. It looks so good, doesn't it? I have been successfully trailed. Mm. Um... Cause it it's 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 fascinating what the world's at now where you know the kind of Do me a favor. Yeah. Hold this side in place. Which side? That one. The one the, the one that's already in? Yep. Okay. I was touching the other bit. That's fine. Uh, alright. Twang. Oh, you piece of shit. <laughs> it's so hard, like It really is. I can't believe there was a, like, a bit thing you could have purchased to fix this for like probably 70 cents on eBay and you opted not to. I just didn't wait, wait for it to come. <laughs> Relax, don't do it when you want to come. Like that. That's true too, like, cause it's just I... cause we have such a shitty delivery economy in Australia. I know, I know. If I, I wanted know. it, it would take like three days, I probably wouldn't even be here before the end of the week. Even like, like... I, look, I, I sympathize, I do, I really do. We live in a, the big sunburnt bum hole of Earth. It makes no sense to me, personally. It's just because every, everyone's so far away from each other, you know. And that's, like, I understand that because I don't want to be near anybody either. Um, you know, everyone in this state, particularly, is a, is a mob of pricks. Um, and don't trust them if you're from overseas. Um, you know. Okay, I just want to know how they managed to slide it down the rail. That's what I want to know. Because I can't get mine to slide down, because it... Obviously, the grip results, results may vary, Aaron. Mm. Okay? You know, you're having some varying results. I don't think we're going to be successful in today's well, video. I think we should just exactly. get two pins. That makes more sense to me, because I can fucking well, position them I mean, Why don't you clip the... Just clip the middle bit here. Not cut it. Yeah, because then you've got the shape that you need, the metal that you need, Cause I've in got two separate pieces. That's a good idea, but I've, I tried to cut the other one, and I couldn't. Because these paper clips are strong. Well, do you have any pliers? Like the ones with the clippy, the pinchy bits in the middle? Like. Fucking. If I can't find a ruler or a measuring tape, what do you think? Well, yeah, but out? you know, you said that, but then you came out with two uber oh, these specific. Were in the <laughs> Alright, so they have been used on nipples and balls. I'm just. All I'm saying is, when you can't climax due to antidepressants, you've got to find other ways to get your jollies, okay? All torture, I suppose. Nah, no, uh, fuck that. That would suck. I've never, I've, I've, I've never really been on. The only time I've taken antidepressants, antidepressants, antidepressants was when I, uh, I don't know, was Xanax Relax, an antidepressant? Don't do I took it. a bunch of Xanax, so it wasn't mine. Ah, oh, fuck. 
And a little teeny magnifying glass. Oh, sweet. Is that what you use to measure your dick? Yeah. And some tea nails. I don't know what a tea nail is. I don't fucking know either. Tea nail mutant ninja turtles. Tea nail mutant ninja turtles. Don't know about the first part. Tea nail power. All right, what well, we've got. We found the items we needed to solve the problem we had I two found some problems staples, ago. And I reckon these staples are going to be the perfect. I hope so, because, I mean, we're solving problems in the wrong order here. This is like when you've read the FAQ and you do shit wrong. Holy shit, it is actually... If the rail wasn't there, it would fit. Oh, rail! How'd they do it? On, look at a video. Like, how'd they do it on the internet? How does the internet pull these miracles off and yet we're on the internet and we can't? That's bullshit, I tell you. Okay? I am the internet. I'm on fucking Akinator or whatever the fuck that shit is. I have weird Middle Eastern wizards telling children about me. You know, that should be enough. The internet gives me money fucking once a month to swear and fuck I'm behind on my Simpsons article, but it's not my fault. Women are time vampires. I'm sure you out there paying me understand that. No, wait, you don't. Um... On that though, you, 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 you now have a new, for, 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 like we should, the one dollar Patreon tier should include being able to legally yell at Gabriel, because normally I'll just ignore you because you wasted my time and life, but if, if, if I'm behind on the one thing that I'm actually supposed to do, you get to, you're allowed to legally um, say bad things about me to me on the internet. Oh, that's pretty rap. Yeah, and I won't just write you off as a fucking I delusional will. fuck stump. <laughs> well, I mean, you know. You're still a delusional fuck stump, but you won't be one that's written off. So, you know, crack open that wallet and get what's coming to you. I have finished most of it though, I just keep getting it done in these kind of like fitful paragraphic bursts, which... The problem is I write a lot, I get tired, and then I delete loads of it because I feel that it's like shit or going in the wrong direction. And you'd be surprised when you write big chunks of shit how much you can spend like an hour and get a lot of work done and then have that work just suddenly be not the work you need done and so it's just gone and like fuck when that happens a couple of times in a row it just kicks you in the balls and you don't want to do any more of it but I'm getting there it's, it's a really good episode too, it's Principal Charming That's it's a kind of prototypical modern Simpsons episode it's a good mix of you know, the excellence of Simpsons' side characters, which very few sitcoms from the era ever really were able to use very well. Um, Simpsons was able to just dive right in and go, here, we're going to do a whole episode that mostly focuses on fucking Patty, Selma, and Skinner. And that is one of the keys to its longevity, is something that, like, a lot of other sitcoms have struggled with. Like, the Cousin Oliver trope is named for when a sitcom gets stale and boring or starts to run out of family stories, and so they'd go, oh, let's fucking you know, bring in some cunt from outside. And it just never worked, uh, mostly because they were such stagnant little pocket dimensions of reality that, you know, they were stuck in these studio lot sitcom sets that just weren't real. And so you just couldn't have a rotating cast or new people really coming through because they just, you know, it was, out, it was out of the budget. Kind of like, you know. And then along came The Simpsons. And I had this brilliant idea what if we draw it? And then, because they drew it, it was a fuckload cheaper. And you can replace the voice actors whenever you want to, and people won't know the diddly difference. That's the basic direction that this one's been going in, though. It's interesting watching it now as it gets to, like, season 30! And I remember that the show started when I was six years old, and that I will probably be raising a six-year-old by the time I finish this fucking goddamn thing. But I mean, look, that's, you know, that's, that's, the, that's one of my hints for life. Is every now and then, it's, you know, it's important to pick a stupid fucking goal. It's a, I think it's an old Buddhist proverb about, like, you can aim your arrow at a target and hit it every time, or you can aim your arrow at the sun, and then just spend the rest of your afternoon looking for the, um, arrow. And that's kind of, that's not a good way to do every goal. Like, you do need just goals that you fucking finish. But it's important to have one stupid rainbow goal that you're just never going to really accomplish because it keeps you busy and it will keep you from going fucking insane when the crushing reality that none of this matters uh, occasionally comes to settle in. Uh, which, it, which it will fucking do because it's ridiculous and none of it matters. <laughs>
Imagine if it did shoot, I think we'd have a new Christmas item on our hands. I know, I'm kind of bummed, because I thought I had it. It's wedging itself in there, but it's not wedging itself in there in a manner that is airtight enough to fucking project it. Hmm. But you can probably work that out fairly easily. What did you get? Oh, I bought some games. If he has a 3 for $15 sale. So. Oh, for what? Uh, uh Prayer and Games. Oh. And the Final Fantasy series has gone backwards compatible this week on Xbox. Xbox. Oh. So I'm getting them before they jack the prices up. Because <laughs> I want to play them in 4K. Because that game was pretty as fuck. Which one? The 13 series. Oh, okay. Oh, I haven't played any of those. It's I got saw... a black man with a chocobo that lives in his afro. I love Japanese racism because it's like just edgy, it's just outside the norm enough to not trigger the that seems racist thing. Uh, speaking of which, like I've decided to finally bite the bullet and buy a jaw harp because my dad had one when what I was a kid. What is a jaw harp? Okay, you know it's that thing that makes the boing now. Oh! Alright, I'm excited about that. Yeah, it's such a, it's a fucking, I'm, I need to know the history, I need to understand this fucking, you know, instrument in its totality because how did this, like it had to have been an accident. Sure. Because no one's going to sit down and go, you know what I'd like? Something in my mouth that makes a boing noise that is completely amusical and that might flick me in the teeth with something <laughs> horrible and metal. It's like, ah, I enjoy the boing noise and going to the dentist. What's an instrument for me? But anyway, I'm going to buy one. And it's weird because in Australia they were always referred to as a jaw harp, but like apparently overseas they call it a Jews harp, which... I don't know about. I feel like that's a racism. Because, like, maybe it was, it was Jews that invented it, but if you start using compound nouns with Jew in it, it just starts to sound racist. You know, it's like calling a didgeridoo a coon tube. Like, it, it may be, it, it's accurate, but I just... I, I, I feel like it's on... It's, it, it's, it's, it's conveying a slightly negative tone. And also, it goes in your fucking mouth, so it's called a jaw harp. I really don't think the Jews harp is is what you should call the thing you put in your mouth to go boing. And that's all it does. Like, it's such a weirdly specific instrument. Like, I don't know why it exists or how it really... I mean, I suppose, like, maybe for people who couldn't learn how to play the harmonica. Because I figured that's what you'd have if you were a cowboy and you were bored. You're just like, oh, I'm gonna fucking play my mouth harmonica. Oh, is this your shirt? Um... Oh, son of a bitch! I've been wondering where this thing's been for like a fucking decade. So I was putting the washer, we were putting the washing away yesterday, and it's like, this isn't my shirt. I got a shirt back! It's a comfy shirt, too. And it's a very light material, it's quite good for summer. It's grey and it, it lets my titties breathe. <laughs> you know, my titties you need want to the breathe. Titty yeah, it's important. You don't want the boys claustrophobic. Uh, fuck don't. no, man. You fucking get tits sweat and you get like. It clogs your, clogs your boob pores, and it kind of pulls. Boob pores. Yeah, it kind of pulls a bit around my fucking scars, and I get blackheads now. So I gotta, you know, you gotta fucking get in there and scrub it. You gotta use the little exfoliators. You know those gloves? Like you can get gloves that are like exfoliation gloves, and you just go. Rrr, you fucking just get up there like your cigar and just round, you know, one round one. It's important. If you don't do that, you're gonna be an ugly prick, and you're gonna spend a big part of your life unlovable. Alright, so Aaron's getting closer to doing this, and that's gonna be fun, because I don't... My life experience has been that these never just work well from go. Um, Aaron might have a different... They usually work fine for me, but I'm documenting this, me. so it's probably yeah. not going to <laughs> yeah, I, I made the mistake of filming this and allowing other people to witness. <laughs> Pretty much. That's usually what's great. <clears throat> Alright, I've... I have been talking for like a solid fucking hour. You're doing well. This is hard. I think I had a stroke five minutes ago. That's fine. All right, angle. Uh, uh, fucking Aaron's got his little dealies in there. Got me dealies. Get the yeah. dealies. Okay, you sure you're touching all the shit right? Fuck. I mean, that's who the knows? problem is because the internet can't tell you how something is supposed to feel. I mean, boobs apparently feel like fucking bags of sand. <laughs> that's a throwback to a movie, kids. All right, you press the buttons when I get these in position. Oh, uh, then you'll blame me if it goes wrong. Yep. So we're not supposed to volume up and power. Not yet. Oh, you mean. Yeah, I'm just getting my, I'm getting my fingers in position, Aaron. Yeah. All right, because the power button on the Nintendo Switch is harder to find than the clitoris. It's so bad. It's, it's just it's up there. It's it's under a thing. It's not flush with like the initial surface. It moves around sometimes. I swear. And your Switch won't work without you touching it. It also yells at me. Uh, 
talk. This is this was gonna be so scientific like an hour ago. I know it was oh, all we've, perfect. We made yeah, a jig. We, yeah, we've got this. It's now so we've good. Do, devolved to two dudes with two pins. <laughs> yeah, I know. Now I feel like I'm gently like just. I'm, this this feels like the exact position I'd be in if I were giving a right, really reluctant do it. hand job. Just press it and then let go. Just let go. Yeah, I didn't do it right. So basically, if you get the Switch logo pop up, you didn't do it right. We didn't do it right. Which is good because, I mean, there's no harm to the console. I suppose, yeah, it's rare that we're, you could do stuff like this and have other goes. You know, because so often it was risky. Yeah, because like my, my, my Joy-Con's still working. Everything's fine. It's just, it's, it's tricky because if you've just... The problem is the pins aren't at the bottom. They are against the wall. So that's why you bend the pins at the end, so they sort of stick to the wall. Don't sleep mode. <laughs> I fucking hate it. It's like, ah, oh, well, you know, time to head into my room, you know, maybe go to bed, maybe read a little bit, turn the PC off, sleep. Shit. <laughs> now I have to wait for like 30 seconds. Well, it's just, it's not waiting for 30 seconds so much as it's like switching it back on just to switch it off. <laughs> just, I, I, yeah, I guess. No, you. I just, I like, no, no. Brushing your teeth before dinner. It's brushing weird. your teeth before orange juice. Just throw that at you. Marvelous. That's a right. It's a rip right, Rudy. I got my fucking shirt today. I invented the fucking potato stabber. Ow! Oh, works. <laughs> Kickstart it. Oh. <laughs> I think we should actually do this. Yeah, this could be. Glue it in there. This could be my Elon Musk flamethrower, the stick thrower. You can light it a fire and turn it into a flame stick thrower. Flaming stick thrower, yeah. Fucking. I have a small I have disclaimer. Many, actually, doesn't throw stick. Yeah, I have as many good ideas as Elon Musk. It's I, just like you know when they I brought don't... out the Boba Fett, um, and it was supposed to have a firing rocket in the eighties. Yeah. And it didn't because of safety reasons. Um, but they didn't tell anyone, so you just got it and it didn't fire. It's like oh. That would have sucked. I'm lucky I, I was poor and Slash wasn't alive. I know not to swallow things that aren't food. Well, we're Australian. I we, we're that allowed early. Kinder Surprises. So, you know... Yeah, I... I just... If any time anyone says, Oh, Aaron, that was stupid. I'm just like, you can't have a Kinder Surprise, mate. Not allowed to have You're Kinder not surprises. allowed to have a children's chocolate. To be fair, you know some fat cunt would immediately just go, oh, And then just die. It's kind of like when that dude won the lottery and he bought one of those fucking cars and it was one of the first models that had a cruise control and he decided, he thought that was just auto drive. Auto drive. So he's drinking a coke, just hands off the wheel and of course he crashed and the coke bottle went Boop! down his throat. <laughs> that's why they, that's when they used to have the slim necks. Yeah. And he widened, that's why they winded them so they can't go down your throat. <laughs> they were widened for her pleasure. Well that too. Yeah. Widen for my pleasure, damn it. When's, when's Aaron's turn? Yeah, something I can finally get my dick down. Like, because it's that or the Gatorade bottles, and they're too wide. I was sitting, when I was taking, like, my monstrous poops yesterday, like, my poop. I'm going to call, I'm going to do, I'm going to document these. They're going to be called Aaron, the poop sessions. It's like AOL sessions, but less music, more poop. <laughs> Disgust you. And I, I was, you know, I had a toothpick in my mouth because I was, I was cleaning my teeth, and I'm sitting there, and I'm just looking at my dick. Looking at the toothpick, looking at my dick. Decided against it. One day. One day we'll get the better of me. Like, yeah. the, the curiosity. It's just the sounding videos really kind of piqued my curiosity. It's just like, why would you do that? Something has to feel good there somewhere, surely. People like getting shit on, man. You know, I guess. Yeah, that's I, true. I forgot that. Don't, you know, not everything tickles everyone's fancy. Not everyone's ticklish. You know, people, people like having someone else poo on them. Sometimes into their mouth. Does it have to be, <laughs> like, which side? Does it, can it be any fucking side? What, with the bum? The pins are, the pins are on the side furthest away from the rail. Oh, so okay. they've got a... No, I mean, either side of the fucking... Oh, no, it's got to be the right side. Oh, right okay. side. Yeah. I don't know why. I think it just that must be where the recovery points are. That's why the bump pins. Bump pins, bump pins. What you gonna do? Bump them pins. You know what? I wish I wish Adam Sandler would come back and make a Billy Madison too. Billy Madisoner. I would like, yeah, because like, 
you know, Netflix did that deal with him, and to his credit, the fucking movie he did with Spade, where it was like a spy or some shit, wasn't awful. Nah, it was... It was okay. Yeah, like, it was, it was not that fucking bad. I mean, it's not what I'd sit there and go, oh, have you you got to check this out, you know. But, if you got I sat down and I turned it on, and I didn't go, Ugh. You didn't vomit out your eyes, like, is the norm from watching a Sandler film. It's frustrating, because, like, it's that issue of, I'm not going to rag on you if I don't think you're capable of better, and the there's a relative scale between how much I fucking complain and how little effort I think you were putting in. You know, like, you know, Oh, yeah, speaking of which, Stan Lee died. So, that was... You know Stan Lee's gone? Hey? Stan Lee's gone. Oh, yeah, he died. Yeah. I mean, that was kind of on the cards. I he, mean, he was hanging on a long time. He was 95. Well, like, his wife went last year, which is not a good sign. Like, that's pretty much it. Once the fucking, you know, wife goes, the guy just goes, and then I can finally die, and then just, just switches off. Women don't hang on longer. I think that's because they're all cold, evil creatures. I don't know. But, um, yeah, so... He finally just shut down. I have a feeling that, um... You know... They're gonna replace him with Riri Williams. I think people will like that. You know, I, th I think we're ready for... Stan Lee to be a woman of colour. You know? I think that's a lot of, you know, that, that's, that, I feel like that's more important than, you know, building one from the ground up who's their own person, and maybe with, within their own company, like Image, or something like that, who has their own legacy, and creative works that they can stand on. You know, why do, why, why go to any of that trouble when you can just parasitize something that already exists? You know, it's like, why exercise when you can just have a picture taken of you with, like, a muscle suit on? You know, I mean, it's just, you know, think about it. It's just fucking ridiculous. So Stan's deceased. Which brings up an interesting thing that I think about a lot lately, and that's the nature of pop culture and how it's a fairly recent phenomenon. Like, elements of how we interact with pop culture certainly existed in prior periods. And it's an awfully fun thing to read about shit that happened with, like, um, really popular early novels. I mean, shit like fucking, you know, there were un unauthorized fan fictions of Sherlock Holmes and stuff like that. Arthur Conan Doyle was practically harangued into bringing the character back to life. Uh, all this kind of stuff you associate with sort of modern fandoms, but, you know, existed back then. It's just now, you know, it's multi-generational. So the fact is, there is now an infinite supply of legendary pop culture celebrities to be dying on a regular basis. That they are just going to keep doing it. This year it's Stan Lee. You know, who do you think's next? Um, fucking Betty White. Betty White? Yeah, it's Betty fucking... She's long now, dude. You know, I kind of almost wish... Like, this kind of makes me wish Kevin Smith died from the heart attack, because the idea of him dying before Stan Lee is just incredibly funny to me. And that's not out of any malice toward Kevin Smith. No. I think it's really good that he's lost the weight and he's got a life and he's, you know, living there for his kids and shit. And to be honest, I really enjoyed Yoga Hoses. I thought it was funny. And it was a, it was a simple film, but it was what it was on the box, and I appreciate that. Have you watched Task yet? Uh, no. Oh, yeah, I actually meant to watch that, because that's where Jason Long gets turned into a walrus. And that is, weirdly, one of the things I've always wanted to see happen to Jason Long. I don't know why it's... it's... I think it's biological, I just hate him. I don't hate him as a person exactly, just on site I want to see negative things happen to him. That's fine. I think it's because I really hated the TV show Ed. Like, I fucking hated that show, it was just so obnoxiously twee. And Jason Long was like just the real annoying character in a show that was really fucking annoying. But then I saw him in Dodgeball and just watching him get wanged in the face with a fucking wrench was just... That was <sighs> the best part of the movie. Because he, he, he did, he sold the pain well. And like, they didn't just go for testicle hits. And that's how you can tell, like, a nice, you know, thinking man's pain. Because it's, you know, anyone can do balls. It's like, oh, ooh. It's real easy to sell a ball here. You just double over. You don't even have to, you don't have to look at the camera. You don't have to engage with anybody. You just gotta go, oh, my, my testicles. But Jason Long's going like, meh, and getting the nice, the nice little hands that are up, but, like, don't know where they're supposed to be. So it's just like, meh, like getting, like, sort of smacked in the face with a wrench. Ah, it makes me smile just to think about it. But yeah, so like life now is going to be an endless stream of tragic celebrity deaths. 
and that's only gonna get worse. And I don't think anybody else has really fucking thought about that. Oh. And I'm fucking I'm looking forward to it. This is the roller coaster now. Constant mortality reminders. Probably do the species some good actually. Because I think they sort of there's still a lot of animal ego in us as a people, and that's got to get dealt with. Because the shit just doesn't fit when you're a sapient fucking race of 7 billion or so. I mean, granted, that'll probably tone down in about 100 years. We're gonna get up to about 9 billion, but nobody's fucking. I mean, Japan's basically sterile. Look, as soon as Japan goes down, we're walking in there and taking it up. Oh, fuck yeah. No, I'm gonna have, like, the whole South Island. I They're gonna be emperors place. of Japan. Yeah, nobody left in Japan is gonna have the pure masculine might of me. So I'll just wander around. Reach for the sky! What is that? Spudgun. Spudgun. Oh, yeah. Okay, I don't know if you. Spudguns are weird. Oh, it's a spud cap gun. Yeah, fancy. A crud gun. So, like, you jam it in a bit of potato and then you go, and it just. It shoots a bit of potato at your little brother. And then your mother's upset with you because you said that wasn't what you were going to use it for. And you kind of got him around the eye. <laughs> you got him in the eye. Crying. Yeah. <laughs> and they say they're water pistols too, because you can like pull up water and then like squirt it out. It's just it's such a useless water pistol. Oh. And okay. I mean, why would you want to shoot water when you can shoot potato? <laughs> hey, Aaron. What? This is going to sound like a weird question, but do you have any potatoes? No. You sure? I'm sure. I'm not going to find a potato if I go looking for a potato, am I, Aaron? I wonder if you can shoot bits of onion. <laughs> I think that would hurt more if you got the eye. You know, you'll just go, poop, and just, just no, get I someone... Ah, oh, you fucking mutt. Maybe it'll work with my KFC. I don't want to do that though, because I don't know where this has been. Yeah, I do know. That's been my garage for like 10 years. It's important to hold on to things like this, Aaron. I'm glad you did that. I'm taking off the little red doohickey, because I don't want to use it as a water pistol. I'm going to throw it at Charlie. There you go, Charlie. Have a red thing. I know you'll go berserk and chase that later because you're a cat. And you look at me with a sense of superiority even though you lick your own asshole. Don't pull that face. Furry piece of shit. I've been moderately but pleasantly disrupted by the Pikachu detective trailer. Like, that is just fucking staggered me. I want to show it later, like have it come up and we can like talk about it, but it's just, I can't stop thinking about it. It's an odd piece of film. Like, it shouldn't happen! Uh, the Mr. This is like when a kid goes from year 5 to fucking university, like we've skipped a lot of fucking stages in the middle of how this is supposed to work. And I mean, like, I feel like anybody who likes this, likes the idea of this, but shits on fucking the Mario Brothers movie, you need to take a good long look at yourself in the mirror and then poke yourself in your stupid eye. Mario movie was ahead of its time. It fucking was. Like, there's tone issues because they didn't really know what they were doing with it, but it is a great fucking movie. Ba bomb! <laughs> I like the idea that that civilization just has this insane little bomb. And, like, it's just around, and they don't know what to do with it. Imagine an ambulatory nuclear warhead with, like, a little bit of an attitude. Not like an angry attitude, but almost like a kind of cheeky attitude, you know? It's like a gingerbread man that might annihilate half your fucking city. Or probably all of it if it were a hydrogen bomb. I've been thinking about hydrogen bombs later, uh, lately, and that just bums me the fuck out. Because technically, we've been living under a greater nuclear holocaust shroud than anybody, like, even in the Cold War. Because now, like, you know, you just had atomic bombs to deal with, and those were kind of shitty. Hydrogen bombs are like fucking just borrowing a bit of the sun for a bit. And, you know, we can't have that. We just, you know, fucking Pakistan has those, and Pakistan's a borderline failed state. I think this is why the Pikachu movie is important. I just need to see, you know, Ryan Reynolds as Detective Pikachu just out there solving crimes, you know? And, like, the, P the Pokemon look all realistic and shit. Like, Pikachu has fluff, and so does Jigglypuff. And people are arguing about whether or not Jigglypuff should have visible fur, but it's like, look, it's not skin for Christ's sake. And I know it's a balloon type, but you know, it needs to be fluffy and puffy. Like I want, it needs, Jigglypuff needs to look like something I might want to actually touch. You know, because that's, every time I see a Jigglypuff, I'm like, oh, I want to rub that. You know, it has the same thing. It's like a kitten's head just got away from the kitten and stayed alive. Unlike what would normally happen. And you just look at it, it's like, oh, I want to rub the little thing. And I like the idea that, like, the Jigglypuffs are all cunts. Because I think that's, again, that's very feline. You know, it's like, oh, look at you, you're cute, and you sit and you purr. And then in a minute, you're gonna, like, just hop onto my computer, even though I tell you not to do that, and then... 
You're gonna stand on the power button even though I yell at you when you do that, and then you're gonna try and scratch my new TV even though I shoot you with my Nerf gun when you do that. And then in a minute you'll just hop down and I'll go, ah, And then I'll give you treats. And I think I'm incorrectly rewarding you, but I think that's my fault. I think it's a very sinister relationship we have with cats. Dogs are idiots. They just love you. You can just punch a dog and it'll still love you. Yeah, they're like nature's doormat. Although it's interesting the way, like, have you seen those dogs, Aaron, that, like, they're... They're fucking sheep dogs, but they don't need the humans really anymore. Which is fucking surreal to me, because it wigs me out that you can actually just breed a job into a cunt. You know? Like... Oh. Aaron! Door! Fuck. Uh, Aaron going to his door to talk to a human being? Aaron? Yeah. 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 Look at this. I... Aaron. He won't shoot, but I can fucking kid. He gets his fucking five times tables correct. It's like, oh, that's really good. Whereas, like, you know, someone you know, who's not retarded doesn't, then they're a fucking moron. And it's like that. Like, you know, his early movies, you know, Billy Madison, I mean, you know, Happy Gilmore's obviously probably the, the main one. And even movies that he didn't really write, but he was in, you know, like, Wedding Singer's a really good movie. Fifty First Dates, pretty good. Punch Drunk Love is a fucking amazing movie. So he's capable. So, when he makes things like Jack and Jill and shit like that, I just don't know what the fucking motivation is. Damn you, Nintendy! It still not work? No. I think I might just have to buy a jig, because it's just... It's so fucking so hard. Fucking and it's just like... I only need to do it once, that's the thing. Ah, give me once, this Once I've done right, it, Give old gay and fucking, it. you know, svelte fingers a go. I think the pins, the paperclip might be too big. Do, do, does the paperclip not have to be, like, you know, connected? Like, does it, it, it has to be a loop, right, in order to short it out. I don't think you can use two separate bits of clip. Shit, you're right. I forgot how electricity works. <sighs> Bill uh, Nye the Science Gabe. Right, give me a look. Just give me that. Fucking... I mean, look, I have fidgeted so much goddamn shit in my fucking life, you would not believe. I can, I can I am feel, not really small things. I can feel, I can tune. That's why in, I could never be gay. In, in, in fucking... Alright, so that's, that's... Let's turn those the other way. So, you boys and girls get an odd podcast today. An odd cast. An odd cast. Mod cast. Mod cast the odd cast. Hand of God, if I get this in one, I'm not letting you hear the end of it. Oh, no, fucking... If you get it from one, I'll fucking praise you. Do you have a light or something? Oh, uh, yeah. Because everything... My life has been marked by fucking every goddamn device or thing I've ever owned being really some, you know, filled with weird idiosyncrasies that I've got to fucking, you know, cope with. So it's against this side, right? Yep. That's where the fucking contacts we have to touch are. That's correct. Okay. Is it just one thing or is it two separate things? I don't know if that's going to help. No, I'm just saying to so you can sort of see the pins. Yeah. No, I can see, well, I can see like a, what looks like a row of pins. Yeah. That's so you, you need the pins on either side. Okay. Break an Aaron's Nintendo Switch. By the way, I did trade in all my Switch games um, to pre-order the Pokemon Go Switch just so I'd have another one to play. I, mean, I don't think it's, I, I don't think I've got the sides quite. Uh, that one looked okay. I don't think the one on the uh, left. Where's the fucking? Where's the nipple pincher again? Where's old nipple clamps McGee? Because there's a bit of a twist. You, you've got like the crack point here, which is. I wonder what actually that feels like, my nipple. Put it on. Okay. Show the internet. Wait! What are you doing? You gotta get, you gotta get that boy erect first. You gotta, you gotta get something that can... Don't it like has this. to be able to get purchase. Alright, wait. Get some ice. Get some cold. Yeah, oh, the mother can. 
Oh, hang on. This is why you pay us money. That's, that's, that's cooler. Woo! <laughs> no, fuck, I'll just get a piece of ice. Don't do a... that. But you're right. This, today has been marked by a, a lack of sensible behavior on our part. Sorry. I mean, this started out as one thing. You walked off. I had to fill time for the better part of 45 fucking minutes. But this is what people want to see. This is riveting content today. I, I fucking, I'll take your word for that. Because, I mean, I had a delivery. <sighs> Cool. Remember that episode where Aaron had the delivery? Yeah, I was gonna sit here rubbing ice on my nipples. Holy fuck, that's cold. <laughs> Holy shit, but it feels so nice. It's... Don't look behind you, Gabriel. Don't it's look so behind hot you. Today, this is gonna be a fanfic. I know it. As Aaron rubs, as Aaron rubs ice on his nipples, Gabriel Inglesias is fucking fingering the switch. Also, speaking of fingering, fucking uh. What's his face from Aerosmith? Can you remember the song um, he did with his daughter in the film clip? No. So, in one of his film clips, Ben Affleck is um, finger banging Liv Tyler with an animal, animal cracker. Um, <laughs> I'm not kidding, we'll watch it later. Um, oh, fuck, I don't have the energy for all this, Aaron. And. Alright, so what is it? Like power and fucking volume? Yep, just press it once. And let go. You don't need to hold it. That should be it. I think you got it. Fuck off. Are you sure? Nothing shows up on the screen if you get it right. I'm plugging it in. If it works and it pops up, can you drive off? That. You did it. You're a genius. Look at that. I'm the fucking hero of the ages. You are. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna move to the next step. I can come with us. got some fucking new operating system he's got for his Nintendo Wii Wii. Alright, so let's just let me just flip this thing so I can see what I'm doing. Alrighty. So we've we plugged it in, it's popped up saying APK, you know PP. driver needs installing. Now PK fire! Now this thing here is what we're using. It's the it's a Tegra sort of payload sort of thing. So now we've we've installed the thing. Uh, we're gonna click, uh, we need this, get those two. Uh, one of Aaron's weird porn files. Nah, no porn on here, mate. Yep, separate hard drive. Absolutely. Big lock of that shit. Oh, fuck yeah. I actually used to do that when I lived at home. That's um, good idea. With my parents. Uh, cause yeah. <laughs> did, did not want that happening there. So we're gonna pop this in here. We're gonna all right. So this wants us to tell us where the payload is. If I can move the payload. Load. Some days I miss Overwatch. Other days I don't. <laughs> I like the idea of Overwatch, but the community makes it fucking awful. People ruin everything. I know it's fucking awful. All right. So we selected payload. Select the fold icon, navigate to the SX payload. Once selected, your switch should boot. Okay. So now, fucking comes a moment of truth. So we're gonna go... Inject payload. Boot that! Boot that! That's pretty exciting. So that means, fucking, we're booting. We bootin'! Razzle fucking dazzle. So what does that do now? Okay, so this is currently putting the um, custom firmware on. So I'm using I'm using something called SXOS, which is by Team Executor. You might know them from the Xbox 360 days. They made a lot of hardware mods and stuff. So they're they're veteran modders. They were the first people to make 
a backupable switch loader, so you can load ROMs and stuff. It's paid, isn't it? It's paid, yes, you've got to pay for the software, because it. Um, the way it works, it actually fingerprints when you install it, it asks you for a license and it fingerprints to your console. So you can only use that firmware on one console. How much is it? Uh, 45 Australian, it was. Which, for, they guarantee things. Oh, okay. That's why I bought a lifetime guarantee. So if things ever update and it stops working, they're gonna help you out. So it's... Are there comparable free ones or is this really... There's comparable free ones, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely, it's just no support. Right. That That's the benefit. Like, you do that if you're more technical minded um, and want to fiddle. Me, I don't want to deal with that shit. I just want, I want it to work. Yeah. I, I want it to work and for it to always work. And the difference is, so far this has worked on all firmwares, other ones don't. Or they're limited in what they can do. All right. Where right. this one seems to work completely fine. Across the board. Uh, actually, I think this didn't. Actually, I think this didn't work. Oh really? Yeah, well, I think I missed a step. Oh, uh, to fall down so close to the line after the triumphant Gabriel just stormed in and saved the day with his amazing oh, bit fidgeting. Go to the same location. Install the driver. Inject payload. It just, I, I did everything as I said, it's just, I don't think it's supposed to say, boop that. <laughs> what that up? Boop that? Switch, boot. Question mark. There's a question, I said boot that error. Looking at the internet, trying to fix a problem. I did everything right. <laughs> All right. So what have you done? No, nothing. I'm just checking that the, the okay. SD cards in there. Again, free advertising for the. I, I, I do a lot of free advertising for the GPD Win Two. If they'd like to give me a free GPD Win Three when that thing comes rolling around, I'd be happy. I wouldn't kick it out of bed. I mean, at the moment, they need to fix the D-pad, really. Some of the control balance, like, because the D-pad's, like, just... It's really minor design issues, too. It's, like, stuff they could easily fix just with the GPD Win mm. 2. Like, honestly, apparently you can, like... If you're so inclined, you can 3D print a replacement D-pad, and it's, it's fine. It's oh, really? Just, yeah, well, the D-pad is flat on top, and the... Uh, the membranes aren't great, and the D-pad is in constant contact with all the membranes, so there's no looseness right. between when okay, you push it with sure. your thumb and when it activates, meaning you get a lot of like cross-activation, like holding a right will sometimes get up and down. Um, I got a really ghetto fucking workaround with that. Um, <laughs> oh, it's so ghetto, but it works, and I was so happy What did you that. do? Okay, so I got like... I measured the size of the controller, yeah. like the little fucking directions. I cut out bits of actual fabric duct tape, Layered them on gently with like fucking tweezers and shit. <laughs> like, so I, I got like, so now instead of being flat, each D pad point has a raised section creating a concavity in the center. And then I put uh, regular masking tape over that, that, you know, the kind that's quite tactile yeah. to give it a bit of a, you know, more friction. And now I have a D pad where I can really press down in each direction quite distinctly. Oh, okay. And so I went from not being able to play like my 2D fighters, which is, oh, fucking issue for me in any kind of like gaming platform to being able to play my 2D fighters and that was the tits and uh, yeah that's something if some of it involves taking the GPD Win 2 apart um, that's not that diffi difficult it's just screws but there is also a little bit uh, a little bit of sponging involved if you don't have a sponger um, I recommend getting one of those um, it, like again if you're remotely technically inclined it's fairly easy to fiddle with it and you know repair it hey! What did, so what did you do wrong? I just replaced the file. I just copied it, recopied oh, okay. it. Just in, sometimes when you copy files, it see, doesn't it, like it. Yeah. So. No, but see, here's the amazing thing. It, it fucked up, but it fixed. Mm. Like, you can just fix it. And then... Da -da -da. So what is that? Alright, so we've got that part running. The next step is we want to go into the options and we want to turn on Auto RCM. What's RCM? So RCM is what we just booted into. That was a sort of recovery mode. Alright. Oh, right. So Auto RCM makes it your switch will always enter RCM on power up. Right, yeah. Which means two things. 
You can never boot it without a PC if it turns off. You just put it in sleep. Yes, you put it in sleep. Um, but you never have to jig it again. All right. So that's the trade-off there, which is good because I mean you got your PC. Um, well, that and also you you put it in those like, sleep modes ridiculous. Like, yeah. It's survive for ages. Otherwise, the SX guys do have something called the SX Pro. Which is a dongle that goes in and it does the same thing. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, so you, it's got its firmware activation firmware on there, so you can carry that around if you're ever abroad. So that's pretty cool. It's, a, it's it was I think it's it was seventy bucks with the software and the dongle. Yeah. So. Alrighty, so we got that up and running, which is exciting. Uh, working out there. Okay, yep, we've done that. So now we need to activate our license. So we go back. License powers, engage! Ah, oh, it didn't fucking work, that's bullshit. Boot custom I guess. Hi there, we noticed you wanted to boot into it, but you don't have a license yet. Yes, I do, continue. Okay, success, the license request.dat has been saved to your micro SD card. You can now continue booting into and activate your license online directly from your console. You switch console and set. Yeah, let's not do that. Um, I don't want to get banned yet. <laughs> Or you can upload yet. that to... Yeah, yet. Like, that's the thing is, once this console's hacked, I don't want to bring it online ever again. It's going to remain offline, just in case they bring out something that can ever, you know... Hate your... Account. Block online. Yeah. Well, that too. Um, also, you can back up what's called an MU NAND, so you back up the NAND on your system the NAND to have like a recovery. The File yeah. There, isn't it? So there's a NAN. A NAN chip is basically a little chip. N A N D. That's right. NAN is in your grandma. Although a NAN chip would be funny. <laughs> <laughs> so the NAN, NAN is a little little, little chip on a board which retains all the information that that makes that piece of hardware unique. So it injects its unique identifiers, title keys, everything. It's basically your identity. So if something ever breaks and you've got a backup, you can restore it. If you don't, you've likely bricked the sucker. So that's where modding can be a little. Hey. Nan's brick. Oh, Nan's bricking again. Nan's bricking. Nan brick my console. Fucking Nana brick my console. Do it. So we go to sx.executor.com. Back in my day, that just meant your grandma hit your fucking Masiga Master System with a. Oh, fuck, I wasn't at the brick. worst. Did you. Where was your console? Was it on top of the TV? No, mine was beside the TV. My granddad one time tripped over the power cable oh. and yanked it out right while I was in the middle of playing Action Fighter on the Sega Master System, and that's a hard game. Like, and I was getting pretty far up too. I was fucking so butt hurt. Yeah, that's. <laughs> I was really, really annoyed. Uh, so Aaron's authenticating. 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 Are you authentic, Aaron? I am authentic. Will the hipsters enjoy you? What's going on? Ah, uh, it's booting up the console. Aaron just does this constantly. He's like, literally, there's I over here, we're doing a video, that'll be fun. Oh uh, shit, something's going on. Click, and he runs away. And then I'm, I'm stuck good. here, plumbing the depths of my fucking hollowed out brain to try and come up with, you know, meaningful content. Nah, I'm just getting the joy cons. Just, uh, just, ah, uh, he's getting the joys. Just so I can, um... The cons of joy. So you can control, control it. <laughs> <laughs> Although it does have a touch screen, which I feel is criminally underused. Yeah, it's a sort of there. Yeah. A lot of the consoles just, it's sort of there. Well, it's like, you know, the fucking PlayStation touchpad. Oh, it's so awful! Who fucking thought that was a g You know what I give the 6 access credit for? It came out, it failed, and, it went, and away. it went away. They didn't fucking keep stringing it along. That never unfolded <laughs> the sucks asses. <laughs> Which is fucking hilarious. Yeah, no, the six axis. I, I described it once as being like um, the, the meat pie pizza, which was going around at the same time. Oh. But it's like, okay, PlayStation Three. What does PlayStation Three have for the time? Unbelievably good graphics. You know, like the comparison was like, what the fucking GameCube and the Wii? Like it was just nothing. It was really fucking good. And then it saw the Wii, and it was like, shit, we need this retarded crap too. So they brought out the six axis, which was a butt sucking goddamn ripoff, and used in like layer that nobody liked. And then it was over, that was it, it was gone. And, you know, like, PlayStation have done this a couple of times, and it just screams of insecurity. 
you know, like they no, always do it. They try to copy and they do it so sloppily and yeah. lazily. And where I believe a yeah. little bit more effort would have been a bit more effort good. And just like a second longer, you know, I think it's only so far the fucking PlayStation Move that has accidentally secretly turned out to be useful, you know, mm. like of all things. It's funny because the um, I bought the Move when it came out. Yeah, I know, yeah, yeah. And um, I played Resident Evil 5. Resident Evil 5 supported it. It was really good. Really good. Really? Yeah. yeah. It was where well, you moved and you aimed with the wand. Oh, right. Kind of like four like on the yeah. Wii. Yeah, it just, it Capcom were really good with it. And it pisses me off because I'm like, they, without effort, made a good fucking light gun game. Yeah. And... It was a bit like the PS2 one, like, the gun con um, Resident Evil game. Yeah. But not retarded and janky. Because <laughs> the Gun Con Resident Evil game basically, you just it was kind of like third person, and then when you walked into a room with zombies, it had turned into a light gun shooter. And it was so fucking awkward. Like. Yeah. Really... I really enjoyed the Umbrella, co Umbrella Chronicles. Umbrella Chronicles. Oh, yeah, no, those are actually quasi decent. Like, they're... You've been running with light guns, can't you? Yeah, oh, no, I, I, I have them. I've got the. Um... The fucking whatever, the Mayflash Dolphin, um, like Wemo sensor bar that you can buy off mm. of various online locations. Um, it will natively pick up Wiimotes, um, and Dolphin, the emulator, can use it to just immediately understand that you have an actual Wiimote. Oh, cool. And so you can just directly play Wii games through Dolphin with that. And yeah, it works. Uh, also, it um, works as a mouse detector input in. Um, Windows, so you can use it in main for things like, um, oh, what's that fucking thing called? Light gun games. <laughs> what's that thing called? Time Light Crisis. Light gun games. Yeah, so you can play Time Crisis, and I, I've got, when I get really bored and want to do the full setup, I have the fucking accelerator from my steering wheel on the ground as the, the fucking paddle for the, you know, That's stand cool. and shit and the I gun. Like I've that. Got, I've got, I've got like one of the little gun mounts for the. Well, the thing mounts. is, you can just get, you can buy literally a USB foot pedal. Yeah. It's just yeah, just plugs in, just a foot pedal, like five bucks on eBay. Oh, I get one of those actually. It'll save me the hassle of plugging in my whole fucking wheel to get the fucking accelerators. Yeah, they're pretty, pretty decent. But it's a lot of fun. Yeah, and you can, you know, you sit there as action. And go fucking play again. Okay, before. But look how professional all this shit looks now. Like the fucking XX Executor website is well. That's what I mean. That's why. Switch. That's why I went with them and actually paid because yeah, all the reviews are there. The website's there. It's not just a oh, Chinese just, yeah. jungle yeah. jumping through hoops <laughs> no. because that was early hacking. Oh, dude, yeah, still <sighs> like it's still. This fucking... Chinese dude has the information. Oh, has anyone translated it? No. Uh, uh. They don't care about the whites. Okay. <laughs> Sneaky uh... slopes hacking into. Um, yeah, because if I haven't got bored enough to buy like a second-hand fucking Switch or something, I'd probably just buy the dongle. You know, just oh yeah, and spend $70. it's it's a it's I will get one eventually, um, but you know money's tight right now, so it's just like I don't need it. Yeah. I don't leave the house much. So. No, you have me here to work out your fucking prong problem. Oh yeah, you're you're fucking any 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 hardware prongs because like that's the thing is I have very long. Fingers, and if I have to do anything delicate, my fingers shake like a motherfuck. So I could never be a surgeon or anything. Um, it, I think that's why I'm so good at first-person games, is because I, I don't have to use fingers. my fingers. I use, I the use pads. my hand. Yeah. You know, my the whole grip of my hand. Uh, yeah, it's just. You have long, spidery fucking fingers. <laughs> that's why any mouse is a fucking struggle for me. Yeah. Cause the palm, your palm, your hand palms aren't that big. No, my hand palm is normal size, but, but my like, fingers are giant. Look at that, like, like, cause yeah, the palms are about the same size. Like, yeah. Hang on. Yeah, that one works better. Yeah, cause look, <laughs> palms, palms are the same. Yeah. Fucking look at I those fucking fingers. fingers. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so how do I actually put games on this thing? I assume I just. Dr drop and drag, drop and drag, yeah. Legally rip. Oh, of course, I've legally, um, narrowed, legally ripped them. <laughs> Copy to the root of your okay. root. 
Just put them in the root. That seems like a bad idea. Put them in the root. What games have you got to test? Uh, so far, I got... I downloaded Ultra Street Fighter because I'm not paying $80 for that. Um, oh, no, that was ridiculous. Yeah, Ultra Street Fighter 2. <laughs> not the collection, <laughs> not, just yeah. Ultra Street Fighter 2. It's which like was Street Fighter 2 yeah. and a shitty 3D throw Hadouken mode for $80. Same, exact is, same game we had on the Xbox and PS3 for 20. for 20 This is exactly what I mean when I say that you have to be able to hurt them. Because mm. that's just bullshit. It's the only thing they understand is pain. It's like Mega Man 11 is like 50, 60 bucks. No. <laughs> Most people are beating it in around two hours. Really? It's a hard fucking well, game. Well, people who were like Mega Man freaks. Oh, okay. But yeah, like most people would take probably about four to six hours. It's a, it's a like I've got, like even on just normal, it is a tough nut to crack. Like, well, not tough so much as it's really unforgiving. Mm. Like, it's, it, you know, like I've been going up against like fucking Blockman, and he has a second form, which I fucking wasn't expecting. And he's like, eh, fuck you, and then becomes really big, and you gotta hit him in the chest. And it's really picky about hitting him in the chest. Like, you're not allowed to just fucking aim at it generally. Because he, when he walks, he steps up a little bit. And the chest goes whoop, right out of the path of your charge shot. And I wasn't expecting that. And he just comes over and wallops you, which I think is a bit mean. Um, the other program you can get is a program called CDNX. You can find this on GBA Temp. Uh, it will require a certificate from your console, and you'll also need to know your title IDs for games. But what this lets you do is download the games directly from Nintendo service. I need to find to the your title PC, IDs. Uh, there's databases. Oh, okay. You can, you, like, you just go to like place. every single GBA temp forum and except I'm gonna do the same thing, I'm not gonna give you links, but you can find them. Yeah. Just look for Switch title ID database. But, like, if you can't find that, so, but just I weep for servers. you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the funny thing is, we've been doing this since the DS. Really? Like this, me, these methods, yeah. Huh. You'd think Nintendo would encrypt their servers, but I guess because we've got a proper title ID. It doesn't know the difference. It doesn't know the difference. Because we're not testing the license to see if we can play it. We're just testing the server to go, yeah, we're a Switch, we can download that. Sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky. sneaky. Alright, so you've got. So we're currently copying a game across right. now. Extremely slow speeds because all my USB 3 slots are in use. When oh, are we going to get the next USB? When's the next big breakthrough Uzb. in USB? USB. USB 4. Because we're already at the point where disk speeds are slower than downloads for a lot of countries in the world. Not in Australia, obviously, but... <laughs> I don't know, man. It took, it took longer to install... Uh... The, the disc of fucking Red Dead 2 that did it download the 3 gig. It's true. By like a lot. It's it was true. like 20 minutes I was waiting. Yeah, I think it cap disc speed on a Blu ray Rider on an Xbox One X caps around 400 mega sec. So. It's still a lot faster than downloading in Australia. X. Yeah. Because, <laughs> I mean, our downloads cap. Most places with fiber to the premises will cap at around 100 down. There are places in Australia where you can get to 200 to a thousand down depending on That's location like universities money like yeah down. universities have extreme speed but usually they do not give you much allowance <laughs> no <laughs> and oh they are strict but yeah. you could you can pay for more allowance though yeah my my girlfriend used to live on campus and i used to crash there and use her internet because it was stupid dude like this was when adsl2 was the, the best thing uh, yeah. so her her internet would download at like 200 mega second, which back then was ludicrous. But still now that's good. Yeah. Like the best I get is 90 and that's what I'm downloading shit from mm. Microsoft. It was For some reason that should come down QT, like QT, was it QT? St. Lucia's QT? No, that's no, it's UQ. UQ, so yeah, she was at UQ campus. My old, oh, my old And they, the people in the dorm had a using sharing system set up and they just pirate things. Like you just go and connect to everyone else, like 500 users on campus. Oh, I want, I want to blink on your two music. Is this guy got it? <laughs> Like it's crazy, a land. yeah. Land across the the dorm, it was nuts. That's the only thing I miss about like university campuses. And also, I wasn't paying rent because I was staying there illegally. <laughs> <laughs> You're not meant to be here. I used to get drunk a lot. In I honestly didn't even know Australian universities had colleges on them. Yeah. I fucking. 
I don't know if it's normal or stuff. But alright, okay, that's finished coffee. I, I think people who actually live at the university are weird. But then I went there as an adult. It's a hot boy. Ow. That's what I love about micro SD card readers, is they're literally a piece of plastic enclosure around a little circuit. They're so small and they get so hot, constantly transferring. Alright, so we turn the switch on now, and it's not going to boot because it's going to go RCM mode, so nothing happens when I press the power. So we plug this little baby in, launch our, inject our payload, and it's back! So yeah, you can get, like, I really recommend if you're going to do this to put a FTP homebrew app on, that way you don't have to take the SD card out. You can transfer everything over your network. Mm. I used to have the 3DS because to get to the 3DS one was screwed in. Mm. So Alright, so we select. We go down to album. Oh. So yeah, so usually album brings you to your screenshots. But now, brings us to this handy dandy fucking screenshot thing. Ultra Street Fighter Tits. So, start it up. License valid. Installer. Homebrew options. FTP server. Does the stealth mode mean you won't get seen on the internet? Is that like for when I do the pawns? So, what happens is once you select it there, it loads it in as a cartridge. And you're probably thinking, what happens if I have a cartridge in there? Well, it'll go blind. It will basically go, oh no, this cartridge is not in there. And if you insert a normal cartridge, it'll take over the slot. And if you uninsert it, it'll put you back to the other game. Automatically. Start the game up. Oh shit, I'm online. Uh oh. Wait, but I'm in flight mode. How does that work? We'll never know. Is Aaron banned? I'm gonna go with yes. Uh, it's not that, I don't think it's that quick. Internet status not connected. Alright. I am really confused now. What's it connected to then? I don't know. Maybe there's a, maybe there's a, uh, an update in the file I downloaded. Well, it can't connect to the internet. Then how do you know it's an update game? Don't yeah. lie to me. It is, Aaron, just start the software. Alright, anyway. I'm, I'm just bamboozled by this whole thing. Is Aaron banned? Banned. Banned. So, here we go. Guess Game, you go. Game's loaded. Uh, fuck yeah, create new save data. I'm actually, because I really wanted to play this game, but I wasn't giving Capcom well, I had it on the $80. I had it on PSM, but I don't know if I can get that on the PlayStation 4. Well, I just wanted to play this because they've got Violent Ken in it. And his name was Violent Ken. Oh, uh, yeah, that's right. Violent Ken was from the uh, SVC Chaos. So he is taken from the. Oh, uh, there's Evil Ryu as well. Yeah. So, yeah, the, um, the album is basically your gate to homebrew. If you press it with no buttons loaded. Trying to do DPs with Ugh. the fucking buttons. It's that actually, you're getting them pretty fucking accurate. I'm using a stick. Ah. A spastic nougat. Go command list, see if he's got like a super ultra like Akuma or something. He's got a teleport. Shoryuken, Airborne, Rasi Gabubububu. Shinbu Masatsu, Azuma Kek, Masatsu. Okay. He's got a kind of demonic key. He's fucking fast. But yeah, so um, the little, the album becomes your your point of home break. Now you press it, you press the button with nothing selected, and it will bring up your game menus to load. If you hold R, that will bring you that will launch homebrew. Um, if you hold L, that will do the normal screenshot. Homebrew games are interesting because I've seen a few demonstrations of those where people will take like old like Quake 2 or something is just on there. Yeah, Quake 1 and 2 are on there, Duke Nukem 3D is on there. Um, <laughs> they need to put the Santa fucking episode in. Did you ever play that? No. 
I haven't played it. I don't think oh. I've played any of the DLC. I gotta. Alright, we're gonna do a playthrough of that for you two one day because. Fuck me. Oh, you, you, you hear that too? You got that to look forward it's to. It's cosmic, dude. You were not ready for the Sander expansion. I love the kitty purring sound of the teleports. It is, it is quite decent. A spastic nougat. Okay, what's evil you got? Shakunetsu Hadouken. A sure Senku, nah, I don't need that. Oh, he does have the Raging Seaman. Oh, does he? Yeah, he doesn't have the fucking... He, he doesn't have, um... He doesn't have, um, any other super. It's just Raging Demon. Oh, interesting. This is piss hats. <laughs> so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy that we successfully managed to, to mod this without much hiccup. Because honestly, like... I was worried with the pins because, and then I came along and fixed everything. If, you, if you're gonna do this, I recommend a small paperclip. A small paperclip. This one was would probably be best for my hands because of my finger size, but you have a much easier time with small paperclip. Um, Fred, it, it wasn't as difficult as I thought it would be. Because that, that's the reason, the main reason I haven't modded this earlier was I was just, I looked at it and it went, you need to bend the paperclip into this jig, and I'm like, fuck that. Jig? Bend? <laughs> I think not. What do you want me to do here? I got a soldering iron? And there you have it, with just one afternoon fucking around, you now have a useful Nintendo Switch. Yeah, so you, with Homebrew you can load, um, let me bring up the Homebrew list, because there's quite a lot now. Um, yeah. Let's, let's take a peek, 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 peek. It's in the Switch discussion, let's go to... Emulation, homebrew, and software projects. Um, the other good thing about this software is they have an inbuilt cheat engine. Um, if you've ever used cheat engine on the PC and are familiar with it, uh, cheat engines use hex code to find cheats. It's actually very easy once you know what you're doing. For example, let's say you're playing Final Fantasy, you finish the battle, you get 500 gold. Like, you, you put your original starting value in, you'd convert your whatever gold you've got to hex, you put that in, you look up, you get the next value, so let's say you've got 50 gold, you change, put the hex to 50, and you go, search for values changed by 50. That might bring up 10 results, might bring up 100 results, but you do another battle, do again, increase by this much, and it will keep narrowing down until you find the value. The throw range on Geese Pile Driver, and this is ridiculous. Holy fuck, that makes me sad. I'm not gonna enjoy playing this later. <laughs> it looks like a teleport. It's it the does. fucking thing. Atomic! I do love the old voice. I actually know the new voices in this, aren't they? I think so, yeah. Because the, they changed the announcer and that's really upset me. They've changed some of the motions, so like the green hand is the newer motion as opposed to forward rounded down. So there's a few little differences here and there. Okay. That's interesting. Well the original one on it the original HD will release on PSN and Xbox was uh, had like a slightly different version where you could have easy operation. And Oh did they? Yeah, so like instead of 360 punch for pile driver it was just half circle back. Oh, okay. I love that. Uh, uh, uh. The only problem with GBA Temp, as you said, it is an archaic site, and it is a little hard to find It is find what the uh, kids else. these days would refer to as the old school. Um, yeah, so it's just... it. It's very little flair, just big, long, old forum posts, which, you know, aren't that, you know, rock'em sock'em a surprise to me, but are nonetheless can be a little tricky for people a little more used to modern navigation and organization. You'll have to just, in a lot of situations, you're going to have to go through a forum thread, which can be a bit of a chore. Switch database for homebrew. 
That's what I wanted to find! Although this looks like it has an actual um, difficulty selection that changes the difficulty. One of the biggest problems with um, Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo was it was unbelievably hard. Oh really? The arc yeah, the arcade version even on easy. Oh no, you're right, you're right. Because I remember I got the PS1 collection and I couldn't beat it as a child. It no. was... I'd get up to the final boss and Bison would just... roar me. Alright, switch database. Ambrose! What have we got? So you got a save manager, you can run scum. Um, scum VM, yeah, so there's emulators. Um, open bores on it? Nothing really that I'd fucking you know, leap to exactly. Pocket Flame will burn alpha is probably the best one you want to be using for um, any kind of arcade games. I mean, the, apparently there's no. Um, Whatever that thing's called, uh, three three D graphics drive has only just been done. So the you know I don't think there's even a Nintendo sixty four one just yet. No, there is. Early. There is. Is there? Um, yeah, I'm not sure where it's at. I'm trying to find that now. I felt because I found a site that had like a, a lot of list of shit. I guess the game is called Useless Homebrew. Oh yeah, RetroArch's on there as well. Um, RetroArch's quite decent. Yeah, I mean, the, again, the, the thing of it is in terms of using the Switch as like mobile emulation is, you know, like, from what I can see, the Final Burn Alpha that's there is like, you know, I don't think you can even run um, sort of com more complicated arcade games like uh, Killer Instinct and shit like that. Like, there was a while that even like, because Killer Instinct won't run on phones. Um, the Chud games generally struggle. Oh, really? Yeah, because it will well, run as well run at a frame, decent frame rate. Same as like Time Crisis might run on a phone. Yeah. Um, so, you'll run into. You know, that was kind of one of my issues was like, Android emulation is really good in a lot of ways, but there's just gaps, and they're gaps that are kind of like interesting to me personally. So. So these are the current RetroArch cores that work well for Switch. Amstrad, Atari 2600, 7600, the Lynx, Commodore 64, uh, the 2048, the Bomberman engine, the Cave Story engine, the uh, Boom engine. The Moon 64 Plus core works, that's good. MAME Arcade, Saturn. 2000, 2003, 2003 Plus, Final and Burn got... Alpha, you've got 3DO Company, Bandai Wonderswan. <laughs> DOSBox, Vectrex, Magnavox, oh my god, the Magnavox. They've got PS1 and Nintendo 64, which is not bad, but that's also just fundamentally what, like, almost any fucking modern phone can do that. You know, what I was expecting out of the Switch, and particularly because it's got the Tegra, it was a bit fucking more. We'll get there. It's just, it's early days. It's very early days. I know, I just... Like, homebrew, like, homebrew for the Wii U and the 3DS took years. I'm amazed at the progress that they've made already on the Switch. Like, this is like nearly two, three years in of the 3DS. We got even slightly to this level. Like, Remember, I don't do ads for GPD Win 2, but if you guys want to give me a bunch of money for all the stuff I've been saying about you that's nice, or give me a GPD Win 3. Look, we will support companies that are good and make good products that we enjoy. That's that's it. We'll always give you a fair... like. And when they don't, we'll tell you oh, how to fuck. hack their goddamn consoles. Pretty much. Um, so, you know, love us or else, companies. Do you hear me? Companies or else. I have, I have... Fucking come get you in the night. Aaron will just hack your console. I'll, I'll come it. to your house. I'll take... I'll go to... Yeah, your game will go to your house while I'm hacking your console. I'm gonna be Santa for your kids, except his presents aren't coming down the chimney. It's fists. And shit. This Don't forget a, shit. There's some bags of Aaron's shit that he <laughs> makes cat me carry with me all the time. <laughs> I have to check it, Just right? on the off chance some of it you know, c comes in handy. You never know, right? You never know, and then, uh, then I'll look like the idiot. Exactly! Like, you know, then that's... <laughs> so this has been the Modcast. I hope you've enjoyed. This has been a jank pile of shit, but this is what you get. Well, I mean, this is people said they wanted more shit like this. They like the more in real life and stuff and... 
Oh, uh, we should. Uh, we should become friends. a. We should, yeah, we should become a drama channel, and we can make all the money. Oh, that'll be rad. Yeah, we'll make Someone, our own drama too. Yeah, <laughs> just go to people's houses. <laughs> and just It'll be us. <laughs> Breton's a cunt. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, guys. I'll see you next time. See ya. Keep It Classy is proudly sponsored completely by its fans. We thank you for your support. It expanded somehow. I'll have you know.